everybody welcome back to my channel I am going to do another get ready with me today and just talk about um, physical signs of stress that I have experienced that I thought I would talk about today just in case you don't know what to expect or if you're a family member or friend you can know what your friend or family member <laughs> is going through um, during times of great stress or at least some things that they might be going through I am just going to speed through the beginning of this while I do my foundation and then we can get through, get, get to the rest, the good stuff. really quick of like physical manifestations of grief or stress um, fatigue that's a common one so I have never felt so tired in my life I want to sleep all day but yet I can't sleep um, aches and pains yes uh, tightness in chest shortness of breath that happens a lot especially you know um, yeah with its panic um, I have never had anxiety before like my first big pack panic attack that I can remember um, after Jake passed away and I think it was before the funeral I went to Walmart and like I just like felt really uneasy and the longer that we were in there like I could just like feel my chest like tightening in and by the time we got back to like the beverage section I like hardcore had a panic attack and like had to like lean on the cart and just get out of there. My arms felt numb. Oh, even talking about it, it like gives me like, flashback panic. Um, headaches. So I get a lot of headaches. I just about got my new thing of Advil. Forgetfulness. So <laughs> speaking of, so I just went and grabbed a whole bunch of stuff to, um, make some DVDs and for our anniversary celebration that we're doing down at the cemetery and I not a very big parking lot but I lost my car and I've done that a couple times since and that's not typical for me so forgetfulness inability to focus so this is why work is so hard I didn't realize how hard work would be and um, I thought it would be like a really good distraction and people say, you know, stay busy. I went back to work a week after Jake passed away and I could not focus. Like I would like stay in front of my computer all day, but like I could only focus for like an hour or so at a time. If that, and um, it's still really hard to focus. I um, read on chat boards all the time about how, you know, you don't really even start feeling like you can do anything with much um, much focus until about a year out. And you can't really put time frames on things, but yeah. So appetite changes. I like haven't, I don't know, like I haven't really lost my appetite. I'm not ever really good about eating. Yeah, I've actually probably put on weight. I'm trying to lose some right now. I um, get in my dress, which does not fit. So we tried it on the other day, about a couple inches away. <sighs> and getting sick more often. I haven't gotten sick yet. Knock on wood. But one that isn't on here that I wanted to talk about actually was, um, and I'm not, I totally forgot I'm not doing my makeup. Um, a really crazy sign of grief that I had was I got a bald spot <laughs> and um, yeah I was 
like putting my hair up in a ponytail because that's like my go-to hairstyle right now is put my hair up in a ponytail. Thank goodness it's like long enough to be able to do it because I just need to get it out of my way a lot of the time. Um, and I like noticed a spot and I kind of ignored it and then a couple days later I looked at it and I had literally, I wonder if you can see at all, like any of it. Like it was, I'll show a picture, but it was um, like a, just a line. It almost looked like I had burned myself and it was like a burn scar because it was just in one straight line. Um, here's the picture now of it. And I just laughed. <laughs> I just, that, that's the only thing I could do at that point. I just laughed. I'm like, I am going freaking bald. Um, bring it on. <laughs> you know, like, that can't, that's not any worse than losing Jake, so bring it freaking on. That was a really interesting one. Um, I looked it up, and yeah, it's called alopecia. Yeah, alopecia. I thought that was worth mentioning because it was not... It wasn't on a list that I had found as far as like... Sorry, I have to let them play sometimes. video from the top because I live with three psychopaths. Um, if you start losing your hair, don't freak out. But um, yeah, your hair can thin. Um, and I'm sure there are other physical manifestations of grief that um, are not like on the top of the list as far as that, um, like what pops up. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a sign of your, your grief or your stress. As far as the stress goes, um, yes, don't be like too terribly worried and know that it's normal, but you know, um, see a doctor, see a therapist. Me and Jackie, which is Jake's sister, went to a concert last night, <laughs> which was fun. And uh, I met up with one of my best friends up there, Mary, but, um, the whole way up and the whole way down. We talked about Jake and that's really good for me. Find, find people to talk to. That is helpful. Um, make sure you're, you're taking care of yourself. <laughs> Just super hard some days, but it's good. Um, eat, eat breakfast. <laughs> At 12.30 I'm eating breakfast, so maybe don't follow my example. But if you have any um, physical manifestations of grief that you have felt or you have experienced, please comment below so we can all talk about it so everyone feels like it's, it's normal and it's okay. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye.